has been quite a long journey, but we ended here today with this final day of this final advent calendar. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a brand and great business online. Hello everybody, it is with a heavy heart today that I welcome you to the very last, the final installment of after advent season. We have done it folks. We have cleared off the table behind me besides a stack of other stuff that's not advent calendars. We are on our very last advent calendar for the season. I think this is like number 40 or something crazy like that. Uh, we standardly begin on a Sephora advent calendar because that's what started all of this. So I wanted to end on a Sephora advent calendar. And this right here is like the, the, the mother of all Sephora advent calendars. This is the most excited I've ever been for a Sephora advent calendar. I think we might be kind of like blown away by what's in here. To be fully honest, I don't want to get my hopes up too high because it still is from Sephora, which we know very well in the past isn't fantastic. This is the Sephora UK like treasure trunk. Look how giant this thing is. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's this like huge chest. There is a top part here and a little pull out drawer. This thing has 36 products in it, 23 of which are going to be full size, which I mean, that's already incredible. A lot of our standard Sephora advent calendars, they don't even know what full size is, I don't think. The cost and the value of this in US dollars are also pretty phenomenal. So this is $238.61 to purchase it. If you're purchasing it USD and it has a $1,319.20 29 cent value, which that's an insane ratio of cost to actual value. That might be, that might be one of the better ones we've had all year. Yes, years, two years, 23, 24, 2023, 2024. Um, however, I was not able to purchase this just like directly through the Sephora UK website. I don't know, I don't know if, if you can, if there's any way to actually do that. So I did buy this on eBay. So it was just a little bit more expensive than, um, what, <laughs> what it would typically cost. I personally paid for this trunk here behind me, $453.66. 100 of that was shipping. So this is a little bit more uh, pricey on my end here, but there's still supposed to be like a phenomenal value to this. So I'm, really, I'm excited. I can't wait to get into it. Looks like I'm gonna have to pull out the bottom little part here. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. It just keeps going. It's so heavy. All right, day number one is down here in this bottom corner. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, oh my gosh, this is half the weight. What, what the heck is this? It's a very strong smell coming out of it. It smells kind of clean. Neom! Does Neom make any other scents and candles besides this kind of lavender sleepy time one? I mean, it smells nice. I'm sure it's a lovely candle, but this is the, if we get a candle from Neom, it's this one every time. This is the Perfect Night Sleep Scented Candle Bougie Parfumé. It has English lavender, sweet basil, and jasmine scents in it. Every time I say this brand name, it reminds me of like little, little wrist cars. Neom! Neom! So this is what she looks like. Just a very standard candle very standard glass jar. There's some interesting banding around the top here. I wonder if they re-pour the tops after they pour them for the first time. It's very strong. <laughs> it is very, very strong. If you're not a lavender person, this might be a bit overwhelming, but I, mean, I think it smells nice. It is definitely a product that we have seen several times in the same scent. But I love me a candle and it's 100% natural fragrance. So that's really, really nice. It says sleep tip. Light this candle one hour before bed to allow the fragrance to fill the room. Usually the standard with candles is to light them for at least a few hours so they don't get a memory like little hole and they don't tunnel. Uh, if you have a candle that does a lot of tunneling, that could be one of the reasons you're blowing it out too soon after you light it. Yum. Alrighty, two is up next here. Ooh, K18. I've heard fantastic things about this. I think I've only ever received like maybe a little uh, foil packet kind of squishy sample of this before. This is a leave-in molecular hair repair hair. Molecular Repair Hair Mask. Ooh, it says K18 is the world's first patented biotech treatment. So sciencey. That renews chemically damaged hair from the inside out in just four minutes. Oh, my hair is damaged and chemically so. It also says you're not supposed to condition. I think I remember that from the sample that I got. It's like, do not condition. That's really interesting. I'm definitely gonna have to give this a go. I just recently dyed my hair and it feels weird after. I don't know. Usually it feels nice after I dye my hair, but this time it feels funky. Yeah, so yeah, just a little, it's a little thing of it. I've never seen it in a full size before, so I'm very, very excited to give this a go. Ooh, three's really heavy too. I guess when most things are full size, you're gonna get a lot of hefty items. That's really nice. Ooh, there's two things in here and one of them looks real fancy. One of them's a squeezy tube and then one of them is this. 
Okay, we'll get we'll get to talk about the squeeze tube first because that's less exciting. We have a Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. According to this little sticker right there, it is Hollywood's two minute facial. That sounds nice. And then this little bottle here, it's so high class looking. This, this looks really high class to me. A very simple frosted glass with the gold lettering. That just looks fancy as heck. This is from Aromatherapy Associates London. They, these get me every time because every time I think they're perfume and they never are. <laughs> so this is a support breathe. Support breathe <laughs> bath and shower oil. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's a little like less abrasive Vicks Vapory. I can, there's definitely some type of minty notes in there. I guess it's supposed to expand your sinuses, let you breathe in real good. Warm one capful in cupped hands and then breathe in to experience the power of aromatherapy. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's nice. I'm always kind of stuffy. I have allergies constantly. So breathe in is something I typically don't do very well. And maybe, maybe this could help. Or I could just set it out like in my bathroom somewhere. And you know, the, the three times a year I have people at my house, they could think I'm Fancy. Moving along here to date number four. Ooh, two things in here as well. They did say they did say there'd be 36 products inside of these drawers. All right, this looks very familiar. I have this in my bathroom right now. We have another thing of the Elemis cleansing balm, which I think works very well, very lovely, very balmy. And then we have this little guy here, which I love the look of this. I'm loving this kind of deep foresty green glass with the gold cap. I think that's super super pretty. It looks a little. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand before. This is Renovant Restoring Moonseed Treatment. Oh, I'm intrigued. Oh my gosh, is it purple on the inside? What an interesting little tube of stuff. I don't think it gives us much more information than that, but they got me with the green and the moonseed. I'm assuming moonseed is some type of plant I've never heard of. I'm sure it's pretty though. I wonder what you do with it. <laughs> it literally, it gives you absolutely no information besides restoring moonseed treatment. Do you put it on your lips? Is it for your eyes? Is there information in here? No, there's not. I guess I'll have to look this up and see what it's for, but I'm, I'm loving it. The purple and the green. It's looking a little Barney-ish, but you know, that's fine. Oh, moon scene is a berry. How cute. Just a little like almost blueberry looking thing. <laughs> the full size of this is actually pretty expensive, Um, but it still doesn't tell me what it is. Oh, okay. So it's an innovative repair treatment clinically proven to reduce the appearance of fine lines and soothe redness and irritation. Sounds lovely. The, the big size of this is like 125 bucks. All right, day number five here. That it. <laughs> Okay, so this is from Juliet Has a Gun, which it, it says right here on the front, not a perfume. You know, smack dab there on the front, but I think they're just being silly because I'm fairly certain this is indeed precisely a perfume. Eau de Parfum, yup. Made in France. Let's go ahead and give it a sniff. The boys aren't in here today. Uh, Tater was in here earlier, but Rim was in the bedroom sleeping and he was just not having being in here without his brother. So he went into the bedroom with him musky. Whoa, musky. Right? Is that what I'm smelling? Okay, I just looked up the notes and the top, middle, and base notes are all the same word, which is a word I've never heard of before. Cetilox. What? What? Oh, a fragrance made out of a single element called Cetilox. One of the only perfumes on the market that does this? I'd say so. I've literally, I've never heard of that before. I don't understand what's going on with the Cetilox stuff. It says in its pure form, it's a crystalline substance. Ooh. I said musky, so I was I was close. It says it has a naturally woody smell with tones of musky amber. That's so different. This is a very bookish scent. Like to me, this is a super like you need to like wear this while walking through a very old kind of creaky wooden floor bookstore. Okay, number six is very lightweight and kind of like a flat box. Crinkles. Ooh. Next up here from Sarah Chapman London, we have a glow on the go. That name sounds really familiar. It's a brilliance boosting elixir. I do like to be glowy. Okay, not what I was anticipating. It's in this really shiny little tube. <laughs> oh, it's a rolly ball. What is this? <laughs> I was expecting it to be like, you know, um, maybe a liquidy type highlighter, but this is something very different seeming. Roll onto cheekbones, collarbones, or anywhere you need extra glow on the go. This illuminating elixir gives a scientific an aromatherapeutic glow on the go, so I guess it has a smell to it. Different. That's very different. I don't... Interesting. <laughs> That's quite interesting. I guess it's just a serum that makes your skin kind of shiny and smells good maybe as it's doing it. All right, moving along here to day number seven. Looks like we have... Oh, okay, a makeup product. We have a Limitless Lash... Limitless... 
mascara from Elia. This is for lift length and curl and it has shea butter in it. And then one other thing, Arginine, which I don't know what that is, but uh, shea butter, that sounds really nice. My lashes, I don't know what's been going on with them. They are falling off and out. Falling off and out seems like the same thing, but I swear they're like breaking off up here and also falling out at a very rapid pace. It could be because I do pick off my mascara a lot and I just, I can't stop myself. I cannot stop myself from like tugging at my eyelashes if I have mascara on when I'm sleepy especially. But I have been losing so many eyelashes and it's really starting to bother me. I've been trying to not use so many um, eyelash serums and stuff because apparently they like suck the fed out of your eyes or something. Terrible. <laughs> so bad. This is what the little tube looks like there. Very standard, um, but I think it might be metalish. I don't know. It's cold. Feels good. It's kind of a girthy box here. We have another two for one. The first thing I'm seeing here is from Molten Brown. Ooh, orange and bergamot shower gel. I bet that smells so good. I gotta give that a sniff. Okay. <laughs> it does smell good. It does smell good. Not quite what I was hoping for. I was hoping for a really nice, like, citrusy scent, which this definitely has citrus to it, but it also has a lot of, like, green kind of leaf scent to it as well. I mean, it smells nice. It does smell nice, but not quite what I was hoping for. More First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser. I feel this year, for some reason, or last year, <laughs> all the advent calendars just knew that I had KP. There's a lot of KP stuff in these advent calendars. I don't know if you guys, how well you guys can see it, but I still absolutely definitely <laughs> have KP. It's worse on this arm for some reason. Day number nine here. This is another kind of more flat box. Ooh, okay. So next up here, we have an item from Rare Beauty. This is the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. And I feel like this is the liquid liner we tried from another advent calendar and it, it was not good. <laughs> it was not a good liquid eyeliner, but a lot of people said it is supposed to be good. That one I got was maybe just a dud. I think this is the same one. The packaging was different, but I feel like this was the same one. Let's see what the actual packaging of the product looks like so we can compare. Oh, this has to be the same one. Okay, now I'm really interested in giving this a try again because last time it like, it almost barely made a line. It seemed really, really dried out. I shook it for forever and it just it was not working but people have definitely said that is not standard so <laughs> let's see if it is better I mean I know it's been setting in this advent calendar and yes it is a couple months after Christmas but it's not like it's been open and exposed to the air or anything why is it doing that the first stroke I was like all right we got something going on here this is a little bit more dark a little bit more pigmented but then everything after that was a little, a little bit sad this has to be dried out there's no way that's the formula of this that was Excuse me. They wouldn't sell it if that was it. Like, I can't imagine Selena Gomez being like, perfect, that's precisely what I was going for. I feel like this one's worse than the first one. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. It almost makes me want to purchase one like directly from the Rare Beauty website and just, just see what this is supposed to look like. Cause I, I guarantee you it's not this. Maybe I'll just leave it upside down, like with the, the tip part pointing down for a while and just see if, you know, maybe it just got dried out the way it was setting inside of the box, but it wasn't setting upright like this. It was lying down. So it wasn't upside down if that makes sense. I don't know <laughs> but so far two strikes for the Rare Beauty little eyeliner pen. Ooh, another little flat box here. This one's a bit more hefty. I'm seeing foil. Oh there's something else in there too. I actually think these are kind of fun. So the first thing we have here is a warming eye mask and they actually like they get warm and you put them on your eyes and it feels real nice. This is from the brand of Beauty Pro and there's chamomile in there. It's supposed to be very relaxing and nice. I have tried these out before and I personally did like them. I like the feeling of warmth on my eyes. Oh, this is so squishy. Is this a sheet mask? That's the gushiest feeling <laughs> sheet mask I've ever gushed. This is also from Beauty Pro. It's a C-I-C-A, that's a new one to me. Niacinamide Blemish Control Sheet Mask, which I have been breaking out a little bit over here, so that could be nice. Ooh, and the mask and the packaging are both biodegradable. I thought this looked kind of different than a standard sheet mask little package. Wow, I like that. That's really nice and just so gushy. And then also in that same day, we have another little bottle here of this Virtue Healing Oil for your hair, which I personally actually really like. There are not a lot of oils I can put on my hair, but this one, I 
think does a pretty good job of not really weighing it down, making it look extra greasy or anything. I just kind of put it on the very, very bottom and I use the tiniest, tiniest amount of it and it just makes my hair look a little bit more nice and shiny. It's supposed to mend, protect, and add shine. It's just a little bottle of it, but you don't need a ton, especially if you have hair like mine and you have to shake it to activate it, but I think this is nice. All right, so I've not seen a ton of makeup in here yet, just some eyeliner and mascara, but no like actual color products just yet. I'll be interested to see what else we get in here if it's mainly just skincare. Oh, something from milk? No, something from Commodity. <laughs> That got me, that confused me. <laughs> this is from the perfume brand Commodity in the scent milk, not the difference. One of my favorite perfumes is the Commodity Gold Perfume. It's just so vanilla-y. I've smelled this before. I can't recall exactly what the notes are. Milk does a really interesting thing where, it's not milk, daggone it. <laughs> Commodity does a really interesting thing where you can get different levels of each of their perfumes. They have personal, expressive, and bold scent spaces, so how strongly you want your scent to smell. Oh, the first notes are supposed to be warm marshmallows. I like that. Then toasted sesame, mahogany wood, tonka bean, cold milk accord. All right, they got me though with the warm marshmallows. I was just gonna keep this wrapped up, <laughs> but they, the marshmallows. There's nothing like a good roasty toasty marshmallow over the fire. Ooh. So you just have a little spritzer bottle of it. I'm excited to smell this warm marshmallow. Okay, I'm actually gonna put it on me. Maybe it'll smell a little different on skin than it does on paper. <laughs> oh, it does actually. It does. I wasn't getting warm marshmallow at all on the paper, but on the skin, there's definitely a little bit more sweetness, a little bit more vanilla. Mm, it is very rich and warm. It's a little bit woodsy, a little bit masculine, just a little bit. It does smell very good. It is very warm though, kind of like a fall scent, so I like it. I think it's pretty good. I'm losing my voice, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, on to day at number 12. We're about halfway through this. There are 25 boxes inside of this advent calendar, so I'm excited to see what we have left. It's so heavy. Oh, speaking of lashes and growing them, <laughs> we have a Vegamore Grow Lash Serum. I wonder if it does the same thing that like the, whatever this one is, Grande Lash does, where it kind of makes your eyes dark around. I had some people telling me, because I was complaining of dark under eye circles, they're like, honestly, it could be lash serum, so I I wonder if this has that same type of ingredient in it. I'll do a little bit of research on this though and maybe give this a try to see if I can fix these lashes because honestly they look crazy. I'll have some that are really long like up to here and the rest look like I chopped them off with scissors. Maybe the midnight barber is coming to pay me a visit but instead of cutting my hair he's just like trimming my lashes off because I don't, I don't know what's happening. Before we move on to the next day I would love to show you guys what today's sponsor Squarespace. I truly love working with and using Squarespace. I have been for years now and it has been an all-around amazing experience. I personally use Squarespace for my business but the possibilities are endless. Whether you're an artist who wants to show off your craft, a blogger who strives to inspire people, or an entrepreneur who wants to grow your business online, Squarespace has all the tools you need. Their Fluid Engine design system is groundbreaking and allows for unlimited creativity. Starting from a website template, you can drag and drop elements on your site and customize every detail on both desktop and mobile. With the online store, you can sell your products whether physical, digital, or service-based. And Squarespace will have all the tools you need to get started selling online through your website. You can easily collect email subscribers to build connections and gain repeat customers, and you're also able to send out sales and promotion to the subscribers. If you're looking for a way to create a unique online presence, boost your brand, or help run your business, Squarespace has you covered. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com to Alexander Ryan for 10% off your first purchase of website or domain. And just thank you so very much to Squarespace for continuing to support the channel. You help make things like advent calendar season possible. Ooh, honestly, as that perfume sets and dries down a little bit more, I'm liking it even more. There's a lot of warm vanilla coming through, and I love vanilla. Day at number 13 is quite large, and so is the item inside. Oh, I've seen this advertised before. I think this is, is this Patrick Starr's beauty line? This is one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. I think I've seen videos where like they'll put it on and they go underwater and come back up and their face still looks perfect. Makeup insurance for 16 hours. That's a lot of hours. Waterproof, sweat proof, transfer proof, and smudge proof. Oil and shine control. Ooh. I wonder if this would just be helpful with like the summertime and the sweaty time. <laughs> When it gets really toasty and humid, I tend to perspire on my brow. I like the bottle. It's very shiny and pretty. I like that color pink. It looks like a hairspray bottle. It's real cute. 14 is up next. Feeling a little lightweight. This could be a smaller item. Okay, we have a lip color in here from Rose Ink. This is a satin lip color. Does it say it's rechar no. <laughs> rechargeable? Uh, <laughs> it is refillable. A rich refillable lipstick in the shade Pervasive. Persuasive. Oh, I feel like we've just recently received this lipstick. So I remember this little dome top. I think that's pretty cute, pretty different. 
Ah, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of a pretty color. It looks so purpley in real life. It's pulling so much more red on camera, but in real life, it's this really interesting kind of deep berry purple with a bit of a neutral undertone to it. The bullet of this is really interesting. It's kind of like pointy on the top. I don't know. I think this is a very pretty looking lipstick. I'm just, I'm just not a lipstick lady currently right now. I just really like any like tinted lip glosses, tinted lip balms, that kind of thing. But like a full strong lipstick like this, it's just not, not my favorite. I do like the fact that it's really good refillable. You don't need to recharge lipstick refillable. Day at number 15. This one feels pretty clanky in there. Oh, Drunk Elephant. Okay, fancy. This is the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. That's a new one. I've never heard of this product before. I know Drunk Elephant is very popular right now amongst the youths. It's always been, at least from my understanding, a nice skincare line. This is for resurfacing and revealing. It has 25% AHA, 2% BHA, and chickpea flour. Why? Dang, this sounds like breakfast. Uniquely formulated with chickpea flour, pumpkin, matcha tea, milk, thistle, and apple. And that, that, that sounds like an overnight oats some real healthy person would eat. Oh, it's really cute in here. It said in the box there's a little virgin marula oil sample. Oh, look at that! <laughs> There's a little itty bitty mini thing inside the box itself. Oh, the packaging on the inside, I just think that's really fun. Kind of those like doodles. This is very compelling to me. I have no idea what chickpea flour does for your face. 25% AHA, that sounds intense. <laughs> that sounds like a lot. It's supposed to be an at-home facial that effectively yet gently exfoliates and dramatically smooths texture and reveals a radiant baby soft complexion. I mean, that sounds really nice. Oh, 16, super lightweight. Oh, it's a little sponge. That's why. <laughs> just a little sponge from the beauty effect. It's a beauty, are they allowed to say beauty blender? Oh, beautific beauty blender. Ooh, I just, I like the feeling of these. Those kind of like soft silicone-y feeling sponges. I think this is gonna be pretty nice. I think there might be a couple things here in day number 17. Looks like there are. The first thing I'm seeing here, Tan Lux Super Glow. Oh, Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. Ooh, okay, I have never tried a facial self tanning serum before, but I think that's gonna be fun. I, I do definitely self tan myself, so it would be nice if my face actually actually matched. So it's not a whole big bunch of it, but it did say that you only need a few drops and then if you want to increase the intensity of the tan, you just use more drops. So I'll, I'll give this a try. I'm kind of excited about that. Ooh, Medicaid. Okay, or Med, sorry, it's Medicaid. Uh, first of all, love the purple glass bottle. I think that's a real pretty purple. <laughs> you guys can't really see the light shining through it, but it's a very pretty like deep violet. But I'm currently using a couple things from this brand and so far I'm really liking them. This is a Hydrate B5 Intense Hyaluronic acid with NMF replenish and boost. That was a lot of words. I don't think I actually registered any of them. I'm guessing it's for hydration. A supercharged hydrating serum combining hyaluronic acid with natural moisturizing factors. Oh my gosh, that's what NMF means, natural moisturizing factors. They're trying to sell them real fancy with that one. It flood the skin with moisture. Okay, that actually sounds nice. I've been using their retinol and their retinol eye cream and so far I've been really liking them. So I might give this a try as well. Another little slim box here for day number 18. Still not seeing a ton of makeup. Oh, that's pretty though. Oh, I am loving the package on this. I hope this smells really good. This is from Floral Street. It is Sweet Almond Blossoms and then it says Vincent right there and it has a picture of the uh, Almond Blossoms by Vincent Van Gogh. This is so cute. I'm really hoping it smells really nice. That is a fresh scent. Mm, at least it's very fresh on the paper. I'm gonna see how it smells on my skin over here. Ooh. Oh, I think I like it. Oh, it's so strange how things smell so differently on a piece of paper than they do on your skin. Instantly, this smells so much like warmer and more inviting. That's not very fresh and nice, but there's something like warm about it when it's on the skin. Ooh, I like that. What are the notes of this? I'm not typically one who really likes a floral smelling perfume. I don't know if I'm maybe just being swayed <laughs> by the fact that I really like the packaging of this and Vincent Van Gogh. I think this smells lovely. I think this smells really, really nice. The key notes are pink pomelo, apple blossom, Awesome and vanilla. So I guess that vanilla is where I'm getting that kind of warmth that I really like from. And there's just that floral scent to it, which I standardly don't love, but this one smells really good. 
Oh, I really like that. Almost all the perfumes I have are very heavy and vanilla and spicy and stuff, but for summer and springtime, this might be my new springtime, summertime perfume. I'm really, really enjoying this. Ooh, I'm excited. 19 is up next here. I'm feeling two little things on the inside. All right, we have the classic Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. This stuff smells fantastic. Um, I've always really enjoyed this cream. I just think it smells so good. And then we also have this little thing here, oh, from Fenty Skin, Fat Water. What do they mean by that? A pore refining toner serum. I don't really know why they would call it that. It just says instantly refines the look of pores, reduces the look of dark spots, even skin tone, and fights shines without stripping skin. Oh yeah, just a little thing of toner there from Fenty Skin. Oh my gosh, I love this. Day number 20 is up next. We are in the Oh my goodness, I ripped it. I hate ripping boxes. It makes me feel so bad. I'm sorry, little box. <laughs> we are in the home stretch of this advent calendar. This has been, it's been good. There's been a lot of full size stuff. It has been very, very skincare heavy, but you know, with advent calendars, you see that a lot. So next up here, oh, glow recipe, watermelon glow, niacinamide dew drops. I'm not mistaken, I feel like this is the item that we standardly get from glow recipe. If it comes in that cute little like raindroppy bottle. Oh yes, it does. It's just so pretty. I love the iridescent shine on the bottle itself. It looks like a magical, mystical little dew drop. Oh, and look on the back there. It says achieve a magical, undeniable glow with this versatile, instant skincare highlighter that illuminates the skin under or over makeup. I do always forget about that. They say you can put it over your makeup as well. On like the usage part back here, it says you can use it as your daily serum. You can mix it into your foundation. You can put it on like the high points of your cheeks and stuff. So you can use it a lot of different ways, which I think is really nice. Ooh, 21 is a honker of a door back here. Oh, it's so heavy too. Ooh, I'm excited to see what's in this. Oh, there's an odor. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's a definite odor coming out of this. My goodness, look at that. They crammed three products into here. I had to go get Tato's medicine and my husband said that Ren had been really restless and missed me. So Ren's in here now and so is Tater. Will he stay up there? No, he won't. He's trying to get my monster energy drink. Tater, no. The last thing you need is an energy drink. I was also quickly able to grab a libation while I was getting his medicine. Nectar of the gods. I love the burn. All right, so we're moving on here today at number 21. It came with three products on the inside. This one looks very familiar. This is from Philip Kingsley. It is the Elasta Styler, which we just got in another subscription box, like one of the last couple that we've done. It's a five-in-one treatment for your hair that is supposed to strengthen, condition, prime, tame, and add shine. So yeah, lovely. And we have another Aromatherapy Associates London item. This is a de-stress muscle gel. Experience the warming, easing powers of rosemary, black pepper, lavender, and ginger to help soothe and recover. Every time we get something like this, I'm always like, well, you probably have to use your muscles to be able to recover them. <laughs> So, uh, you know, maybe when I do my push-up every now and then, I can use this for my aching biceps. But no, I do actually have a lot of stress and strain in my shoulders. I always have, like, these big lumps. Like, that's not just, like, you know, that's just, um, tightness. <laughs> that's, like, tension that I always have in my shoulders. So maybe this could help. Ooh, and then the last thing you have in here is from Living Proof. This is a triple bond complex hair strengthener. I don't think I've ever heard of a hair strengthener before. That's a little bit different. Ooh, okay. A triple bond complex is scientifically proven to make hair eight times stronger. Oh, against grooming and breakage versus untreated. That sounds, that sounds good. And more resistant to future damage while adding softness, smoothness, and shine and manageability just after one use. My goodness. This actually seems kind of cool. Um, I might give this a shot. My hair is very thin. It's very fine. And it does break very easy. People ask me how I get my little, you know, my poofy bun up here. Tease it in hairspray like it's the 1980s like this. <laughs> this is not a probably healthy way to put your hair up in a bun but I just don't have a ton of hair so to get it in a, like a volumized bun like this there's a lot of there's a lot of not good stuff happening so if this could protect my hair from damage and breaking that might actually be really nice day number 22 getting so close to the end that looks like a fun shape Ooh, we have a nail polish and then we also have is this like deja vu <laughs> Like we got so many of these same items and a lot of advent calendars. We have another melon and goats. Oh, but this time it's a vitamin E facial moisturizer. I think the last one we got from them was just a hand cream. And then we have this really pretty red nail polish from Nails Inc. Oh, slaying life. I see. As in slay, as in Santa's slay, as in this was a Christmas holiday advent calendar. That, that makes total sense. Day number 23. Oh, there's a couple things in here. Again, very <laughs> familiar things. The first thing I'm seeing is from Rin Skincare. This is a brightening dark circle eye cream. Very 
very familiar product. Little oh, baby, what is it? What is it? You want to come up here? You want to be on camera? Tim's whining. What's wrong, little baby? Want to say hi? He has a little bit of a breakout today. Don't you? That's okay, though. And then the next thing we have in here is from Gwen Stefani's makeup line. We have a somehow it says give. I don't understand it. I don't know why they decided an X was going to be an I, but sure. Oh, original recipe like KFC. <laughs> Potentially the thing that Kentucky is the most famous for. I do love some fried chicken. My goodness. So this is a lipstick, very Gwen Stefani-esque packaging with just a nice, very, very bold red lip. Looks like this one might be a little bit on the matte side. Oh, that's because it's a matte lipstick. I didn't even read the rest of the packaging. High performance matte lipstick. Packaging and stuff is really cute. Like I said, screams Gwen Stefani to me personally. I just think the, the GXVE is so strange. All right, that brings us to day number 24, the day before the final day. This has some nice weight to it. Oh, ooh, ooh I bit my thumb, thumbnail back. Oh, I bit my thumbnail back. That, <laughs> that hurt, okay. <laughs> cute. Never seen this from Sunday Riley before, this is, but this is a Be Nice serum. Actually, like a Be Tiny 3 Nice Serum. This is supercharged with trans reservatrol, obviously. <laughs> Reduces the look of pore size, surface redness, and blotchy tone for balanced, clear looking radiance. And Sunday Riley is a very nice skincare brand, so that seems like a very nice product. I just haven't heard about one before. All right, folks, that brings us to the final day of the final advent calendar of advent season. This has been a very fun ride. Thank you so much for sticking with me till March. <laughs> it has been quite a long journey, but we ended here today with this final day of this final advent calendar. So I'm hoping it's something real impressive. All right, drum roll, please. Oh, is it a palette? <laughs> a makeup. Okay, so we did end here on a palette, a Tarte palette. <laughs> this is the Leave Your Mark Volume 2 Eye and Cheek Palette. It's got little kisses all over it. How precious, <laughs> just little kisses. That's pretty cute. And we have a super, super standard, kind of warm tone looking palette. What's this supposed to be? Is that supposed to, that's not supposed to be a blush, is it? <laughs> that's a very incredibly light blush. It doesn't look reflective or luminous enough to be a highlighter, but that's a very light blush if it is. They so just have some some fairly standard looking shades here, some shimmers and some mattes. A very wearable, little bit everyday palette. There are some more interesting colors in here, like the Shake It Off shade is a bit of like a purple. Role Model also is a little bit on the purple side. Respect has some like golden glitters in it. So there's a, there's a few fun little shades in here, but we do have a very standard creamy beige shade up here in the top and like a light pale pink and then kind of like a tan shade here. So a very wearable palette, but it's, it's cute. And we did get some colorful powdered makeup here to end the calendar with, to end all of our calendars with. We have been through 40 calendars, an untelling amount of products, an untelling amount of days. <laughs> Finally make it to our very last product here. So I'm glad it is something a little bit different than the uh, skincare that we've been getting in the box. There was a ton of skincare in this advent calendar, but we see that very often with advent calendars, so that's not super surprising to me. So I think this one was good. I do think this one was good, especially if you can get it for that standard sale price. Over $1,300 worth of products for like less than $250 is pretty fantastic. So that's really Really good but I will get you guys an overview here of all the products that came inside of the box so you can see for yourself see it all together see if you think it is worth the money especially the money that I here in the states had to pay for it I don't know if there's a way to order directly from the website if you're not like in the UK so let me know if you guys think me paying up for it was worth it as well um, I'll be interested in hearing all of your thoughts and I'm just I'm so thankful for you guys that you stuck with me all the way through this advent calendar season I've had a ton of fun with it don't worry, we'll start again in November. <laughs> it's just a few months away. But until then, we have a lot more videos coming. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. If there's any other advent calendars I can find, I'll sneak them in here. That's fine. I don't, I don't care. It can be August. We can do advent calendars in August. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind in the opposite world to me and Ren and Tater. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.